This is an example shot from the video encyclopedia of pool shots, a 5 DVD series covering over 750 shots in 50 different categories. This example is from disc 4, which covers all of the topics shown here. The plus system is very useful for aiming two rail kick shots off the short rail. The system is based on the diamond numbers on the short rail shown here. The corner pocket diamond is labeled 1, and every half diamond increases the count by 1. So the first half diamond is 2, the first full diamond is 3, and so on. You can also just remember that the first three diamonds are labeled 1, 3, and 5. The plus system predicts that the amount the line of the cue ball will shift up table is equal to the diamond through which you are aiming on the short rail. Here we are aiming through diamond 3. Therefore, the line of action of the cue ball will shift up table three diamonds along the long rail. The system applies only for a rolling cue ball with running English. Here's the shot at the table aiming through diamond 3 and shifting up table by three diamonds. The plus system is sometimes called the plus 2 system. One reason is that it helps you remember that the first diamond is labeled 3, which is 1 plus 2. Another reason is that a typical kick in and out of the corner pocket like this shifts up table by 2 diamonds. The plus 2 shift is created by aiming through the half diamond past the corner pocket, which is labeled 2. An important plus system reference shot is shown here. If you aim through diamond 5 from the third diamond up table, the line of the cue will shift five diamonds up table to the corner pocket. With the plus system, the corner pocket diamond is assumed to be centered as shown here. Here's the benchmark shot shown at the table. The plus five benchmark shot is important to help you get a feel for the speed and amount of English necessary on a particular table. The benchmark speed and English combination are also important references when making adjustments to the system. Let's look at the effects of speed in English on the plus system reference shot. Let's start with the benchmark values. Increasing the shot speed makes the ball go longer. Using less English also makes the ball go long. And using more English brings us short of the corner. Withdraw, the system doesn't even come close. Remember, the cue ball must be rolling. And to determine the amount of speed and English necessary on a particular table, you'll have to try out the benchmark shot. The plus system will typically break down at its extremes, so it is important to know how to make adjustments. Here we're aiming through diamond 6 from the second diamond, so we would expect the cue ball to head 6 diamonds up table to the corner pocket. But as you move to higher numbers on the short rail, the ball tends to come up short. We can adjust for this by using less English. The effect is even greater here, aiming from the first diamond through diamond 7. Here, even with no English, we still come up short. In this case, we can also add speed to compensate. Here we're aiming from the sixth diamond on the long rail through diamond two on the short rail. Usually you have to add a little English to make this shot work. Typically, as you shoot at smaller numbers on the short rail, the ball will tend to go long. And you can add a little English to compensate. On this table, the benchmark speed in English actually works. Every table will play a little differently. That's why it's important to practice the benchmark shot and these adjustments. Here's an example where knowing how the adjustments work can help you make a shot not possible with the straight plus system. Here, to pocket the eight ball, we need about a one diamond shift up table. With the plus system, we'd have to aim through diamond one, which would result in a scratch. Instead, we can aim through diamond 2 and use English to make an adjustment. A two-diamond shift up table will take us long of our target, so we need to add English to shorten up the kick. Now let's look at how to use the plus system to target a ball on the rail. 
with this shot, our ghost ball target is just in front of the eight ball. And if we estimate the line off the second rail, we can predict the necessary through diamond location on the long rail. Here, the desired target is right across from the first diamond. Here's the layout for the shot. We want the cue ball to end up across from the first diamond. Up to this point, we've been aiming at through diamond locations on the long rail. However, some people prefer to target ball positions across from the diamonds. This can make it easier to measure diamond distances along the rail. To do this, we just need to find a different reference speed in English when we practice the benchmark shot. By aiming across from a diamond instead of through it, the cue ball needs to go a little bit longer. As we have seen, we can accomplish this by either using a little less English or slightly more speed relative to our through diamond benchmark. For the rest of the examples in this section, we will be using a cross diamond speed in English. In this example, if we aim through diamond 3.6, we'll get a 3.6 diamond shift up the table and have a good chance to pocket the 8 ball. Let's look at how you figure this out at the table. First, we start counting diamond distances from our desired target. Here we have 1, 2, 3, and about 4 to the approximate line of the cue ball. Now, if we were shooting from 4 through 4, we would hit our desired target. But this line doesn't go through our cue ball, so we have to make a small adjustment. Since one diamond distance on the long rail corresponds to two diamonds on the short rail, we need to shift the butt by twice as much as we shift the tip until the cue is aligned with the cue ball. Now we have the necessary aiming line for the shot. Now you shouldn't expect to make the shot every time, but if you practice with the system and have a good feel for the benchmark speed in English, you should be confident to get close. For more information on the entire series, visit dr-dave-billiards.com. There you can view video highlights and complete list of shots from all five discs.